Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We just headed to the masjid for Salat al Dhuhr, and inshallah, after Dhuhr, we're expecting a guest from the Catholic Church at our mosque today. Inshallah, I'm just expecting Father Trini, who's the head priest at uh, the Catholic Church here in Lak Labish, and who's also a great friend of mine. He, we actually get along. We did some events together previously, and you know how small Lak Labish is, you just meet everyone all around the place, so I see him all the time. So Father Trini says he's never been to a mosque and he wishes to take a tour of our beautiful masjid here in Lak Labish. So I said, Ahlan wa sahlan, welcome, anytime well. And coupled with that, he just requested me to render a prayer for all those who are suffering around the world and even in his country, the Philippines, by the hands of extremists and whatnot. We're just uh, waiting for him and coupled with that. <laughs> He says he takes better pictures. Uh, Father Trini from the Catholic Church. We met on a few occasions and now we're going to show him the masjid, inshallah. Yeah, so before we uh, head to the mosque for a nice tour and a quick prayer, we're going to just have some lunch, hopefully. <laughs> so Father Trini has asked the question, how many times do people come to the mosque so people come throughout the day we have five mandatory prayers that we offer at the mosque so that anybody could come whenever they wish to either recite the quran or uh, do anything productive so it's just open every day 24 hours yeah different congregants have uh, the keys to the mosque so they you know they make themselves welcome anytime they wish we're just finished with lunch with the father and now we're headed to the masjid inshallah for Quick tour. Inshallah. It's a beautiful day today, Father. Yeah. Wonderful weather. Organization of this mosque was actually the second mosque, or the second mosque organization established in Canada. The mosque established in Canada is Masjid al Rashid in Edmonton. Just gonna show the father around, and if he has any questions after the tour, then he can ask. Hopefully. So this is the usually the pulpit that we render the Friday sermon and the Eid sermons from, and um, they last for about half an hour. This. So this is basically called the mihrab, an ark. the designs that the mosques developed throughout history. This is what they embraced as designs. So usually mosques beautify their walls with, you know, different uh, Quranic calligraphy or verses from the Quran. So this is an example of that. This is basically the first chapter of the Holy Quran written in Arabic and the English translation here roughly. So this is the Quran? Yes. Muslims face the Kaaba, which is the house of God located in Mecca, and that's their direction of prayer. Have you been in, in... We visited Mecca with my father and my family when we were young. I uh, haven't been there for a long time, and it's definitely an experience worthwhile. Yeah, because you, you have the Mecca, and for us Catholics, uh, we have Jerusalem, the place of Jesus Christ. It's a thing that all of us wanted to be. So uh, the masjid or the mosque in Palestine there, Masjid al-Aqsa is also one of the holy sites for Muslims. Jerusalem, similar. That's where the Masjid al-Aqsa is located and uh, that's the third holy site of Muslims. First holy site for Muslims is Masjid al-Haram which is in Mecca and then the second is Masjid al-Nabawi located in Medina and the third is Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. So the Father and I wish to render a prayer for those of our innocent brothers and sisters who are suffering by the hands of either extremists or other people in Marawi, so which is a province located in the Philippines. And this is uh, the main reason that the Father actually visited me for. So we'll do exactly just that. I think I thank uh, Masar for inviting me and for and please continue to pray for all the people for peace and for blessing. Render a quick prayer for the brothers and sisters in Marawi and around the world who are suffering 
May God facilitate ease for them and protect them from every harm. And may God facilitate safety and security for them and grant them peace and prosperity and eternal success in this world and in the hereafter. The Father and I will render a lengthy prayer, uh, not on Snapchat because it only gives us 10 seconds and I think we'll have to conclude the snaps because of the battery as well. Continue with a brief tour of the mosque and thereafter we'll render a prayer for our brothers and sisters in Marawi. May Allah, God Almighty, God Almighty help them and shower His mercy and grace upon them and protect this whole world from extreme ideologies and evil people. On behalf of the Father and I and our communities, may the peace and blessings of God Almighty be upon all of you.